Hey, Shalom. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, my name is Amon Kabar with the brother. Sakar. And, you know, we just going to roll with the spirit, man. We got to roll rolling, so we're going to roll with the spirit, man. Um, Just whatever come to mind. Go ahead, brother. All right, so CB on CNBC, which we all should know by now, Biden with direct states to make all adults eligible for C um, Crown Royale Maxine by May 1st. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, the brother opened up with that article, that, that's, which is, that's the headline for the article. But, um, you know, hey, this, as we know, this devil is going to, he has an agenda, as we obviously know that. And everything since since the beginning have all been geared towards these different steps and stages to this agenda. And this is just another part of the agenda. You know, all states eventually is going to make it accessible, adults of all ages, to get this vaccine. So that means nobody is going to be excluded now. So now that nobody is going to be excluded, there's no, now there's no excuse for nobody to not get it. You know what I'm saying? So if you say you don't you don't got it or you ain't gonna get it, then then what's the reason behind it? So in other words, the devil's gonna make it hard for, for you know regular people to get around in society by doing certain things. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Get get out of Second Corinthians real quick. Alright, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, uh slack, yeah. And 11 it says least satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices yep playing to a point satan is talking about the adversary the devil you saw now at least satan should get an advantage of us all right we are not ignorant of his devices and part of his devices is what devising this new world order all right and part of part of that as well is this agenda where he want to get the whole world to be chipped all right and we see the stages that are happening right now now they just passed this 1.9 trillion stimulus, right? Which is to, which is supposed to expire, I think, September 6th. I already. Yeah, September 6th, right? So, with that being said, if everybody if everybody is eligible for this vaccine by May 1st, you got May, June, July, August, September, and that's four months that you will have to get so-called get this vaccine before. This 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 present 1.9 trillion expires. So this devil could very well say if anybody wanna get a get the new round of fake currency stimulus, then you gotta be a registered uh, Maxina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're not a registered Maxina, guess what? You you ain't gonna get none. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna get none because here it is. People gonna you know the thing is all right. They, if you ain't gonna go along with the protocol and the agenda, then why should you be included in the in the in the race or the funds? To coil this so-called pandemic, yep. they're gonna you're gonna be excommunicated. Yep. But that's all right because we we've been preparing for this for a long time. All right, and so it goes as far as we've been pre preparing for this when it comes to the uh, to the RFID chip. Because as the scripture said, no man will be able to buy or sell at least he that have the mark. Yep. Got a quick one for you. Good. Proverbs twenty two and seven: The rich rule over the poor, mm -hmm. and the borrower is servant to the lender. Beautiful. The borrower is servant to the lender. And right now, Esau is, what Esau want to do is to make everybody a servant. As if everybody wasn't a servant enough. Yep. Welfare case. Yeah, he want a complete welfare, you know, case and scenario, just like he did in Germany. Same thing happening all over again. The, yep. During the Weimar Republic, when the, I think they called it the green mark or green greenback or something like that, the dollar or the German currency, when it was so hyperinflated that the, 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 uh, the, the money was fluctuating by the minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By the minute, by the second, it was fluctuating. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, all this so-called free money, it ain't free. You gotta, you're gonna have to owe this devil. Yeah. Read that again, Ike. Right? Proverbs 22 and seven, it says, the rich ruleth over the poor, uh -huh. and the borrower is servant to the lender. So the borrower is servant to the lender. The rich ruled over the poor. Who's the rich? You can read that in the, um, the book of, what is it, Luke, where it talks about the rich man, uh, um, Lazarus. Yep. Yeah. Talks about the rich man. The rich man in that uh, scenario was talking about who? The, the elites. Because they're the rich. They're the super rich of this world. All right? And who's the poor? It's talking about the elect. All right? Amongst the nation of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
that was it, right? Yeah, the ritual with Pool again. Right. I got to click on another one. Proverbs 22 and 16. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Mm-hmm. You're good, yeah, you wish Yeah, because they're giving, they get, allowing you people to get $1,400, right? Which is really nothing, because you're going to give it right back to them. So you guess what? You're going to be in more want. And that's how they got you. This is like a this is a drug deal, really. You know, they keep you they keep you coming. You like a fiend, you know, they keep coming coming to them for service. Exactly. And that's how they have the people. There's no more independence. No more no more person that can stand up upon their own two feet. That's out here. There's yeah. only a few people that has the ability to go out there and, and um to work. Even if you're working, you're still part of you're still trapped up because you lose that work. You're gonna be like everybody else, exactly. independent. Now let's say if you have your own business, right? Which this whole entire last year was the death of the small businessman. Guess what? You have to rely on the government for what? For the dope. <laughs> All right. You gotta rely on them to give you some type of stimulus to to let you survive. Now if you got kids, guess what? <clears throat> You get extra money for those kids. Those that money's gonna go right back to who? To Uncle Sam, like they say. So this man has this this shit planned out perfectly, man. Yeah. And it, and um like the brother had said, there was a video circulating of an old woman. She was from Austria, and she was breaking it down how when Hitler came in, how the Nazi part the Nazi party started, and exactly what's going on is exactly what happened now. Where the government was paying people to have kids, and the government was paying people to stay home, and all that the same shit. Exactly. So there's nothing new under the sun, man. Yo, so right? you can look at you can look at what happened during that time to see what's, what's how it's gonna foreshadow what's coming to America. Yeah. Matter of fact, I um exactly. Jeremiah fifty first chapter. All right, yes, straight yes, to the point. point. Yo, right. Jeremiah fifty one and yeah and eight it says Babylon is suddenly fallen. Destroy it, how for her, take balm for her pain, and so be she may be healed. Babylon, America, Babylon the Great is falling. We are, we, we, are, we are witnessing the downfall of America, man. And it ain't a thing where, you know, which it is gonna happen just like that, but it's a systematic uh, breakdown. The most high is systematically, like you got that, that game, right? They, there's that game, I think it's called Jing, Jenga or some shit, where they pull the blocks. And then yeah. the, the, the structure still got to stand up. Whoever make it fall or lose or something like that. Yeah. Forget what they call that shit. Yeah. But um, that's America. The Most High is picking it apart at its at its structure. So eventually, what's gonna happen when you start demolition or demolishing a structure of something? It'll collapse. Yeah. And that's America. The most the Most High is doing this, man. Yeah. And he's using these elites to do it. They think they're doing it to better themselves, to benefit themselves. But in all actuality, it's gonna turn around and bite these these devils, man. Yeah. So Babylon, America, suddenly fall again. Right. It says how far, right? Yeah. It says how. Um, it says. Let me read it again. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. Uh huh. Which is the pain? Matter of fact, in the apocrypha, um, what is it? Um, where it says no, no, no. That's lonely. I'm sorry about the birth pain. Oh, okay. It's slack. Yeah. About slack. Yeah. No, there's one in um. Apocrypha. There's one in Apocrypha. Yeah, I'm gonna get right? the one. I'm gonna get the one in Apocrypha. Yeah. It's much better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what's happening, man. That's exactly we. we this is the this is the contractions. This is the birth pains, you know. <laughs> and and you know what? The stimulus is like the 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 epidural. Yeah, yeah. The epidural is the shot they give you a woman in the back, Manifest. which is wicked as hell. They 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 pump her with the epidural to numb her spine or some shit to take away the pain, and it doesn't take away the pain. Yeah. And guess what? If if there's a temporary pain relief, this per this woman is gonna have side effects. In the future, ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, I, I got um, it's a it's the same chapter, but I'm gonna go further up. Uh, Second Ezra 16 and 19. Um, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are set as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, mm -hmm. nor be always mindful of the scourges. Mm -hmm. What are the scourges? Some of the scourges happening now. The C19, C19 plague. Which is this night? Wait till the Lord send real plagues here on Babylon, man. Guess what? Jake still ain't gonna be mindful of the things that are happening. They still not gonna repent. 
get it? The whole victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth mm -hmm. that they they shall think themselves to be in a good case. Victuals is talking about food. Shall be so good, so good, shall be so good cheap on earth they gonna think themselves in good case. Because right now the victuals you get, you can go anywhere and get. You, hey, we was talking about Dollar Tree the other day, yesterday I believe, right? Oh uh, yes. You yes, can go yes, to yes. Dollar Tree and literally feed a whole family for five dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real, you could go there buy like a, a pack of a pack of uh, lasagna pasta. You go there. Pasta in general. Yeah, pasta in general. You could go. You could go get a can of uh, uh, pasta sauce. You know, you could get a can of beans. You know, a can of vegetables, and a dollar you could buy a bottle of water, yeah. <laughs> and you could feed a whole family, man. Yeah. But that's that's why I was supposed to say victory shall be so good and cheap on earth they're gonna think themselves to be in good case. Because it's not going to be so for, the, for that much longer. Yep. What's going to happen is that food prices are going to skyrocket. Yep. All right? Food prices are going to skyrocket, with, especially with all the so-called free money they're giving people. Yep. There's no production. Yep. All right? There's no production. Like every, everything is a service or a, a trade a trade and service. There's no services taking place. People are just getting free money. Yeah. There's no production happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what's going to happen is that all this free money and no production is going to lead to inflation. Yep. All right, because everybody's getting the same lump sum, and then nothing is nothing is given back, yep. so to speak. So they're gonna raise prices on shit. Yep. Yeah. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that, yep. so I, I gotta add to it too because uh -huh. like the brother said it is it's, it's, it's perfect because you get in the stimulus package, the stimulus deal extra money for the time being and everybody thinking oh I'm good and right now everybody has the spurt of peace and safety like everything is going back to some type of normalcy that normalcy bias again oh we'll be able to go to the clubs and you know like yesterday just to head to camp was it was mad traffic like New York was back to its old uh, uh, toxic self again and you see people like you know women coming out skimpy like everything is back to normal like everything is all good every y'all be about to get money you know, if you're throwing up the STEMI, the, the, you know, the, 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 the STEMI means and all this other stuff. But they, they, they fail to understand that all, this, all these things are happening. It's just spiritual. All these things are happening. More unful, unlawful, un, more wicked, lawful things are being signed. All right? More wickedness is being um, progressed. So all it's doing is adding more to your... To the to punishment that's coming to America, okay. So what you thinking? You in a good case? Like everything's all good? It's gonna go back to normal? Shit just got worse. All right, shit got worse. They they're gonna take away all your freedoms. They terminated my channel. They terminated this brother's channel. They terminated everybody's channels. Things are just getting worse and worse, but people don't see it. But now that uh, little uh, that last year when they was they like the, we, was, we was talking yesterday that. That little time when people was alert, that little alertness that they had, mm -hmm. is what happened? It went all the way back down. Yeah, the guards went back down. And now the great confusion is about to take place because they don't. Some states. That's how you know the scriptures is real. Mm -hmm. You have certain states that's like a hundred percent. We open it up. Fuck that shit. Throw your mask away. We going back. And some states is like, oh, we gotta keep our mask on. This is nothing but great confusion. Some states schools are back open. Some states are not open. And in the city, the city itself, you don't know what the fuck is going on. There's nobody saying nothing because yeah. everything's nothing but great confusion. And you think this is bad? It's just gonna get worse when the time really revs up. Yeah. Where are you gonna go when something, a, a catastrophic event takes place? Where are you gonna go? Should I go to the uh, military or should I go to this place or should I just stay on the streets? It's gonna get that bad, man. All right. It says verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth. Shall perish of famine, and the other to escape the escape the hunger, shall the sword destroy. That's right, man. It's gonna get it's gonna get bad, bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get real bad, man. I was I, I even that movie I Am Legend. Yeah. I threw that on last night real quick, man. You know what I mean? And the woman in the beginning was like, they cured it, and then it said right after she said they cured the disease that took place. Immediately the screen went to three years later and all you see was desolation. Yep. Wilderness. Yep. All you see was a desolate city. 
And you know, same shit. They they predict the program and everything, man. Uh-huh. America, the head is they saying they got the the, the, the you know the, the anti not the antidote but the vaccine. Yeah. Things are gonna get better. And then next thing you know, shit is going shit is gonna go left. Yeah. Shit is gonna go left, man. This shit is even a hotline for people that got side effects. <laughs> now they're considering the side effects. Sorry, um, um, AstraZeneca, the first thing that came out of here. Certain certain countries banned AstraZeneca, but you American dogs, <laughs> you gladly took the shit. All right, but now other countries are like nah, there's too much side effects. So what the hell's really going on? What happened to that that um that nurse that was in, was it Texas or Tennessee? I don't know. I know you're talking about. Um, she just disappeared out of thin air. Yeah. yeah, she just disappeared out of thin air. What happened to that? But they're not telling you, and the CDC's telling you people. All right, expect a zombie apocalypse. Expect something bad about to happen. Okay, that's what they're telling you. But you dummies are willing to take the thing, and he's giving you a due date for your own demise. Yeah. You know, because if you flood, if everybody flooded right now, you can't really detect who got for what reason people dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. CNN told, said the other day, yeah, today like a thousand people died from you know Crown Royale. I'm like, wait a minute, who the fuck are these thousand people? You know what I'm saying? But CNN is just, they just showing it to charts for people to scare you to fucking get the shit. Yeah. And then once you get the shit, they're not telling you nothing. All right? No side effects. You just cured. And you still got to wear the goddamn mask and all this other shit. Yeah. You people are stupid. But, hey, like the scripture says, you're not, you're not mindful of the scourges, man. But I'm jumping down to verse 40. He says, matter of fact, it's um, 38. As when a woman with child is in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Mm-hmm. That's the contractions, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the, 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 the child coming represents what? Yahweh, well, really, Yahweh Shah coming back to destroy this place. The destruction. Yeah. The, bond, the missiles. That's the end all be all. That's the end all be all through the whole pain and suffering of a woman going get, going through childbirth is the baby being delivered. You know what I'm saying? That's the end all be all. And the end all be all for America is to be destroyed. And Yahweh Shah is going to be the one to do that. Before that happens, he's going to come back, deliver his elects and his angels to redeem his elect from out of all, from the tribulation and trouble. Yep. Just like Daniel 12 and 1 said that the Lord is going to send Daniel. All right, the great Michael. prince. Yes, yeah, sorry. My, Daniel, the first chapter, said the Lord is going to send Michael, the archangel. All right, to stand up for the prince of his people. You know what I'm saying? So what we're seeing is the birth pain, the contractions, you know what I mean? And, and all these things happening. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be to no effect, though. Yeah? It says, even so shall, the, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, mm-hmm. and the world shall, not, shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it yeah, on man. every side. Yeah, every side, man. Meaning... The Lord is going to totally dis- disrupt disrupt this place called America. It's going to be an utter confusion, you know. Like like y'all uh, like the scripture said earlier, confusion when you break the word when you break the word down, it means to mix together. Yeah. America's oh. Babylon the Great. All right, it's going to mean to be mixed together. Okay, to be fused together, and this place is just a cesspool of confusion. All right, now even more when shit hit the fan. Everybody's gonna be out of confusion because they thought they were told that there was gonna be safety and peace. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna be real confused as to why, you know, the promise wasn't delivered. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You said yeah, something. I, you said something very, very important. Alright, but still hold on Jeremiah uh, 51. Yeah, I got I got you. Yeah. Ezekiel, there it is. Ezekiel um 24 and 3. It says, utter a parable unto the rebellious house and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, set a pot, set it on, set it on also, also pour water into it, gather the pieces thereof into it, even even every good piece, the thigh, the shoulder, fill it with the choice bones, take the choice of the flock and burn and burn it, sorry, and burn also the bones unto it. Make it boil well and let them s- s- um, soothe them or s- suck the, um, the bones of it therein. 
Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashagel Shai, woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein. Damn, talking about America, man. How you can prove that? Um, what's that? Um, uh, Habakkuk? No. Um, Habakkuk, which said, woe to the bloody city. I think 2 and 12. Okay. Yes, 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 yep. Habakkuk 2, verse 12, it says, Woe to them that build a town with blood, shed this with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. America, how was this land built? By blood, that's obvious. That's that's that's, that's one on one. That's um, American history one on one. Yeah? It says, Behold, it is not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in, very fi in the very fire, and the people shall worry themselves for very vanity. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the, of the glory of the Lord, and the waters cover the sea. Woe unto them that give his neighbor drink, that put the bottle to him, that maketh him drunken also, that mayest look on their nakedness. Now, how, 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 is he, how is that happening? How is the, the, the man in the bloody city? Who the bloody man is talking about, he saw he the, the bloody city is America. Oh, I know. You know what I'm saying? Thank now, how is this devil putting that strong drink to, to people? To Jake, really, that's that philosophy that he's telling people. You know that that um that witchcraft, that sorcery. You know that 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 that's eat, enchantment. That, right? Exactly that enchantment, and also too, he's telling people to go ahead and get that vaccine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Telling people to go ahead and get that vaccine. He's gonna entice people and bribe people to get the chip. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nahum three and one. That's all, it. All to the bloody city. It's, it is it is full all full of lies robbery. and robbery. Pray the part if not. Yeah, the bloody city again, America. All right. Um, what's the number? Uh, 35, 33. Yep. Where it says the land cannot be cleansed. Yep. But by the blood of him that shed it. Come on. Get on. Uh, also Genesis the ninth chapter. It's not, um, nine and six. Genesis nine and six says, "Whoso sheddeth men's blood, by men's, by men shall his blood be shed." Come on. You saw. You got a lot to pay for, man. Revelation 13, 9 and 10 said, yep. well, uh, he that leaves the captivity shall go into captivity. Yep. So you devils got a lot to pay for, man. You know what I mean? We talk, hey, we talk about all the shit that's about to go down. But the, the real shit that's going down is your kingdom. All right? The Lord is going to raise up his elect in these last days to shed your blood yep. by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. For what? For all the wickedness that you have done on this planet Earth. All right? Yeah, brother, what you got? Jeremiah 51, but this time... Going to 24, I believe it's 24. Yep. Jeremiah 51 and 24. I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldean all the evil they have done in Zion. In your sight, saith the Lord. Then it says, Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, who destroyeth all the earth. Yeah, the a mountain is a government. And that destroying mountain, destroying government is talking about America. All right, just like how the scripture, us in the same uh, Jeremiah, that uh, the Lord, the whole, the ham of the earth is broken down. Yep, Jeremiah 50. Yup, the whole ham of the, ham of the earth is broken down. How is the ham of the earth broken down? We're just talking about a miracle. You know what I'm saying, again? Yeah, let me read it again. It says, Jeremiah 20, uh, 51 and 24, I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldeans all the evil they have done unto you, done in your, sorry, have done in Zion your sight and like you just make mention of all the wickedness that they did how they got in America period that's and that's a slap to our face a constant reminder yeah we took you down so the Lord's gonna render he's gonna pay you back all right he's gonna rip you apart for what you did unto us this is why this world is gonna is such an, a pitiful case the way it is this is why the economies are going down this is why this man is completely taken trying to uh, reset everything why? Because by him resetting everything, he's trying to establish his new world order, but not knowing that him resetting everything or destroying everything is prophecy. Okay? And that prophecy is the things that you've done unto us. You're going to have to pay back. All right? You're going to have to pay back for what you did unto us in our sight. It says, um, Save the Lord. Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain. Save the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And I will make thee a burnt mountain. <laughs> the Lord said, I'll roll thee down from the rocks. I mean, he's going to roll you down from on high. Yeah. 
All right, he gonna roll you down from on high because the mountain, a mountain is a, a large government. You know what I'm saying? Which is America, and the Lord say he gonna roll you down from the rocks, man. He gonna stretch out his hand, which his hand is talking about who the elect. You know what I'm saying? Because scripture said that the souls are just in the hands of the Lord. Yep. You know what I mean? Got it. Now, uh, second as is 15. I'm gonna start at 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, pestilence, to waste the houses with destruction and death. And the glory of the power shall be dried up as a flower. The heat shall arise that is set over thee, that shall be weakened as a poor woman with stripes, as one chastised with wounds. So the mighty and mighty and the lovers shall not be able to receive thee. Mm -hmm. Would I, with jealousy, have so proceeded against thee, saith the Lord? If thou had, if if thou hadst not always slain my chosen, exalted the stroke of thy hand, saying over their dead, when thou was drunken, set forth the beauty of thy countenance. The reward of thy whoredom shall be in thy bosom. Damn, that's a miracle all the way because <laughs> the scriptures say that in um in her was found the souls of um of the Saint, just, of the saints. You know, and it tells you that in the book of Revelation, man. All right, and in America, that's how you know. Hey, that's why America, that's why this place is going to be destroyed. Just like the scriptures say in Joel that the Lord is going to plead with, with, with for His people Zion in the land of Jehoshaphat, man, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is talking about Yahweh Shabbat. The Most High's judgment, all right. That there will he plead for the children of Israel, for his people. No. Yeah. It says, therefore shall shall thou receive recompense, like like as thou hast done unto my chosen. Recompense means payback. So payback is coming. Yeah. Like I, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, save the Lord. Even so shall the God do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Mm. Thy children shall die of hunger, and they shall fall through the sword. Thy cities shall be broken down, and all thy all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh, and drink their own blood, for the very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Thou hast thou as unhappy shall come. Through the sea and receive plague, the plagues again. So the same punishment, the same way you did unto us, and then some is happening unto you. And a lot of you Edomites, so-called white people, are gonna flee to the mountains, and the Lord's gonna make sure no game comes your direction. Yeah, they doing that already, fleeing to the suburbs and shit. Yep. Leaving New York, yep. go back to the suburbs, you know, wherever the hell they going. Like the mass exodus, as they call it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, when you think about it, like, you could go to the mountains, you could go to these things, and you could go out hunting for yourself, you know what I'm saying? They, they eat squirrels, rabbits, and whatever. It's going to be a time period when nothing's going to come your direction. The only thing you're going to have to eat is each other. And you're going to you're gonna resort to cannibalism, man. Okay? And that's the most evilest, wickedest thing, other than famine, to die from, man. All right? And you're going to resort to... Being cannibals, man. That's the punishment of what the Lord is going to do unto America. So this, these stripes, these beatings that the Lord is establishing, this is just the beginning, man. It's just the beginning, and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse to the point where you're going to cry for death, but it's definitely going to come your way, like it says in uh, Revelation the ninth chapter. All right, we're talking about the people world war one because they were they wanted death, and death didn't come. Okay, that's how you're gonna be real soon, man. So enjoy your little, your little fast food places and everything like that. Enjoy your little utopia for the for the time being. It's just for the time being, because when that time comes, those gonna strip everything from these people, man. Okay. We go back to Jeremiah 51 and 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain, and so be she may be healed. Mm -hmm. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, 
And let us go, everyone, into his own country. That's right. America cannot be healed. Babylon cannot be healed. You know, and the, all the stimulus really is not designed to heal Babylon. No. It's, it's set up to further destroy the, the dollar. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the average Joe don't know that. They think the stimulus is going to help people go out there and shop to put more money back into the economy. But the, money, the way the money came into the pockets of the people was artificial. Yeah. So that, that's that's an artificial injection into the economy. It's not going to work. Yeah. That, money, that money would have to have come from an actual... You working, you getting paid by your employer, you know what I mean, for your, your goods and services. That's not, that's how, that's not, that's how shit work, man. You know, but, hey, bro, I can tell you how about shot. Uh -huh. This place is out of here, man. Let each show keep pumping this dollar, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, like, we opened up with May 1st, everybody's going to have no excuse to not take the max. So that's going to, well, I, as far as I see, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit, is that eventually they're going to make it to, yo, no max, no, no stimulus. Yep. No max, no stimulus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why should we, you know, if you're not going to participate in this, this whole stimulus shit, then count yourself out. But you know what? That's all uh, Revelation 13 chapter. That ties into the same concept of the mark of the beast. Yep. Also, you know May 1st, around May from, day. yep, May, um, April 15th to May 1st is a, um, the, the, the elite's ho um, holiday, which is eventually May Day. All right? It's not... Um, laborers day okay it's not um what else they call it but well, the, the main thing is May Day yeah. and that's the most, the highest satanic thing in their calendar and why they want to inject so much people with that because that's a sacrifice that they wanting to do or to say it so any idiots that's going to be a, a long line to get these shits you deserve what you get man yeah. this man is literally counting and I you know I did a show on it because you have the most high have his high days, his high holy days, like the Passover, which is coming up, which is the, the highest high holiday for us, all right, which is going to be surpassed of the, of the new Passover, Jeremiah yeah. 16 and um, 14, you know, and that's a, that's going to be the greatest high holy day, but as far as Esau and his dates, that's how his dates go, and the highest day that he has is May 1st because that's when he, the birth of that Illuminati was established. But since you quote, quoted it, I must hold this brother back. I don't know what I'm it's in Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, days come and save the Lord that, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And that's the greatest holiday period, man. That's, that's that's something that echoes in the the itch, the, the um, stretch of time, so to speak. Yeah, that was the biggest deliverance ever. Ever, 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 ever happened. heard. Yep. You know, to this day, they celebrate it. Yep. They, they show it. Everybody call it Easter, but it's not Easter. But everybody knows this is the, the, the biggest holiday, all right? Other than, uh, you know, that other day, which is nothing. That, that has nothing to do with nothing. We're talking yeah. about Christmas. Yeah, so cool. But this is the greatest holiday period, man. But the Lord said it's not, that's it's gonna be nothing compared to what the Lord's about to do. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And where's the north? North America. The greatest deliverance in the human history, <laughs> I gotta say it like that, will be in the shores of America, man. That's right, bro. It's gonna be something that's gonna be broadcast throughout the whole four corners of the earth. Everybody's gonna know Every brother that was sent up in those chariots, they were like, damn, this guy, that guy, that woman, that child, mm. you know, like it says in the Muslim Psalm the fifth chapter, right, right. they're going to look, they're going to be like, damn, this, the, the same people that we was talking shit about, that they said we, like, their life was like worthless, this is, this is who's going to be saved? They're not going to be like, oh, these guys are aliens, like, can we go with you? Because that's how much danger... It's coming. You had um, this, the, uh, a rapper called Yuck Mouth. He's a, he's smoking his blunt and everything like that with his, his boy in the car. And the, the, the driver, he looked like an eater, but he's the only one that had it right. But they saw a chariot. All right, the chariot it came one color, then it transformed and it disappeared. And he's like, yeah, man. He's like smoking his weed. He's like, yeah, you know, Elliot's real, man. You know, and he's thinking things as a, a, a as a joke, 
But that's your avenue to get the fuck out of here. And then here you are still being wicked after seeing such a, a great sign the way it is. That's your ticket. That's your meal ticket. All right? If anything, you're going to be like, yo, can I go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's the spirit of the Lord. He's blinded the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Yeah. Just he's making it only for the elect. So when this thing happens, the world shall know. That's what the scripture says in Ezekiel. I'm just going to quote it. It said, um, when the Lord said to Gog and Magog, when the um, mountains of Israel shall be safe, what do you not know? Basically saying the whole world is going to know yeah. that my people is going to be safe while you're destroying everything, man. Yeah. This is going to be a broadcast, man. And that's why it's going to be greater than the one that took place in Egypt. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because for one, for one, the elect is going to get beamed up by so-called UFOs, which are charged to the most high. That didn't happen in ancient Egypt. You know what I'm saying? That didn't happen in ancient Egypt. And two, the body, the body is going to be changed. Right. Which right. is going to seal the, the the second covenant, the new right. covenant. It's going to completely solidify it. Yeah. Three, Yahweh Shah is going to be with us. Yeah. But we're going to be with Yahweh Shah to say, the Abarat is out, we are the elect. Yeah. Four, missiles going to be shooting down. Yeah. And five, that's the end of the wicked. Yeah. So this is definitely going to, and we never going to go into captivity yeah. again, man. That's why this Passover is going to be the greatest Passover ever. And it's going to overshadow the, overshadow the Passover that took place in Egypt, man. Yeah. And that's the day of the Lord, man. That's the glory that we waiting to receive. And that's going to be something to celebrate, man. And that's something that's going to be repeated, like Apostle Tar had said it. Because we, every, every brother think like-minded before even saying words to each other. And then when we get together, it's, it's astonishing and amazing. I'm like, yo, you thinking the same thing? He's thinking the same way I'm thinking about it. And we all, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh I know that in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have that deliverance on repeat. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be a, a the greatest part of the greatest production of all times. You know, like I was saying yesterday, Kev, um, the heavenly production of us. Lord willing to be part of the elect Being beamed up Being saved By the, the skin of our teeth You know From the destruction of America And being transformed Like the brothers just said And seeing the destruction of our enemy Alright Matter of fact Let me get that real quick It says Revelations I believe it's 15 and 1 Revelations 15 and 2 And I saw as it were A sea of glass Mingled with fire And them that got in the victory Over the beast So John the revelator He's on, he's in a chariot And he's seen a, From the bird's eye view Of America being Toasted <laughs> Alright Being toasted Okay Like it's a sea of glass Because the, the fire is gonna Go into the, the other atmosphere To cleanse the earth Of the filth That, that was established by Esau Man Okay? The, the fire is going to do two things The other destruction and the ultimate cleansing So he's going to John the revelator and the, the elect Saw everything clear Alright crystal clear You know the terminology crystal clear They're going to see everything crystal clear Alright Bird's eye view And it says And, um, and I saw it, it were As a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that got in the victory over the beast. And who got in the who would get the victory over the beast? In order for you to be victorious, you must go through a trial and tribulation. Mm -hmm. And a trial and tribulation is that hour of temptation. Okay? That's gonna take upon the whole world. You might think like, oh, fuck that, I'm gonna go to uh, Singapore. Well guess what? They're gonna get they're gonna get it too. I might gonna go to Phil the Philippines. They're gonna get it too. Yeah, that's why it's called that's why it's called New World Order. Yep. And matter of fact, they try to be slick with it and call it the Great Reset. Yep. Reset what? The world's economy. Yep. You know, just to land back off what you're saying, bro. Yeah, you know no, I mean? perfect. And, and the victory over the beast, that's also Revelation the 20th chapter where it says, have not worshipped the beast, neither received his mark. You know, how we go over 24 where it says, um, the souls that were beheaded for the witness and the testimony yep. of Yahweh Shah yep. that did not worship the beast. Yep. That's how you get the victory by denouncing the system, man, denouncing Esau, denouncing everything. Denouncing the chip, denouncing to worship him because scriptures say that you cannot worship the most high and mammon. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yep. It says, um, over his image and over his mark, which is talking about the physical mark. The physical yep. mark. 
you know, right. in the image, you know, it ties into what? The image means likeness or something. Yeah. You know, America's trying to re revive, which it is the revived Roman Empire, all right? They're trying to revive that whole system of the Roman Empire and take it to the next level, take yeah. it even further. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Got it. it says, and over the, the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. And they singing, they, they sung, sorry, they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshua Almighty, just and true, and all the ways of thou King of Saints. Because that song, the same song of victory, is going to be broadcast to. It, when that time comes It's going to be the same thing They're going to sing the same form of victory As they did in the time of the Egyptians yeah. When they left When the Lord took them out from Egypt Alright Showing you this is going to be surpassing everything that From the previous um, um, uh, uh, Servitude the man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the Captivity, right, the captivity right, right. Because This is going to surpass it So It's going to get so great that We're going to be in the chariots You know Think about it the first time the chariots guided our ways. That means that we was not even in the chariots. This time, it's gonna be so devastating that we need to be in the chariots to be saved. Isaiah 26. So yo, that show you the power of the Lord, man. Now this is a first class ticket to, to safety, man. Yeah. Alright? And it says, um, verse 4: Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thy only are holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after I looked, and behold, the temple of the of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. Alright? And that's the testimonies of what we did to those that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And we always say this and we say it more. Who else is doing what we're doing? Alright? You know, when you come into this thing of ours, you, at first you have, you know, you have the spirits of doubt. It's that's foreseeable. You know, you don't know who you are, whatever. But you just you have to do the acts of the elect. All right. But who else is doing that? Season in, season out. All right. Out there diligently, going in, putting the spirit in it. So you have to have that mindset. Like, look, I got to continuously do this thing. So I can receive this crown, man. All right, and let no man try to take your crown from me. Um, to see Revelation twenty-one and one, it says, "And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea." And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Right, get it. Go, go to John, um, Isaiah twenty-six and all. Done. Ten. Isaiah twenty-six. Lock in. Ten, ten, right? Yeah. Said so, twenty-six and ten. Sure. Which I would go. It says let the favor be shown. No, 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 no. I know Sorry. what you're talking about. Twenty and twenty. Um, I know. What you're, I know. What you're yeah. Isaiah twenty. chariots after the after the destruction have already taken place all right and that's going to be when, when when the elect establishes kingdom under Yahweh Shai. all right put these nations into captivity and slavery to build up our kingdom it was 26 but it was 20 26 and 20 yeah okay it says Isaiah 26 and 20 it says come my people into thou into th thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee Hide thyself as it were for a little moment yep. 
until the indignation be overpassed. Yeah, and that's, it. that's the link of scripture. Um, hide yourself in the chamber, which is talking about the chariot. All right, because what's the ind indignation is the righteous anger of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, which is going to come by the way of thermonuclear destruction. That's the indignation that got to overpass. That's how the elect is going to be taken up into heaven. When you read about that, um, you read you just read it in, um, in the book of Revelation when John seen on the sea of glass mingled with fire. Yep. That's talking about the heavens being on fire. Just like the scripture said, heaven shall roll like like a scroll. Yep. You know what I mean? The elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's talking about John seeing the firmament, you know, standing above the ozone layer, seeing America be destroyed, man. And it looked like it was a sea of glass. You know, that's the ozone layer. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the destruction that's coming, man. That's part of the great deliverance. That's why this this um Passover is going to overshadow the Passover that took place in Egypt. None is going to be like this, man. And this is going to be the end, the establishment of the nation of Israel forever, man. Yep. So, you know, unless you got anything else, bro, we could get ready to close out. All right. Matter of fact, let me just finish up in Revelation 21 and 3. It said, I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and that shall be his people. I'm sorry, and they shall be his people. And, I, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, no, neither shall there be any more pain for the, for the former things are passed away. So no more you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites, are going to be subject, subjugated to um, vanity, to be a, a welfare case, to rely on the enemy to take care of them, to being oppressed, okay, to being sin, uh, huh? being, being in the flesh, being, being in the sin. flesh, all right, which is, which is um, that's a very important thing too, because we're never gonna go off ever again, being gonna be immortal, all right, but we're not gonna be subjugated to to the um, to demons, all right, yeah. you're not gonna be no more dope fiends, no more fucking Adulterers, no more tra trans transformers. <laughs> All right, no more none of that. We're gonna be renewed people, okay? We're in the spirit, we're gonna come back. Yep, we're gonna come back in our greatest glory, like our like Yahweh Shai, man. So the Lord's gonna wipe away all our problems, man. No more problems, man. And right now, our mindset should be able to, and that to be honest. We should be able to let things go because the things of this world is the things that's holding us back to be who we need to be. So we should let the, forget all the, 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 the bullshit that we've been taught in this world and rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, with that, that was it, bro. That's it, bro. Close out. So, with that being said, shout out to the elect of the nation of Israel. We're almost out of here. Have faith. Rock the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shout out to